We're almost knee deep in the season of gift giving, and I know many of you, including myself and my family and friends, are sweet tooths, so I did a super sweet Lolly and Pops haul full of chocolate and candies. Lolly and Pops is in the style of an old fashioned candy store, and if you're big into that kind of old timey candy aesthetic, Lolly and Pops delivers. Many of the designs of their chocolates and candies are distinguished by 1800 style add artwork on the front with all the windy words, ribbons, and flourishes. In the store itself, there's dark wood all over the place. The employees wear cute aprons. All their signature sweets are throwbacks. They have candies from all over the world. So for someone who loves learning about different cultures, foods, customs, etc., etc., it's a very lovely place where I can eat all the chocolate and I can learn about other cultures through my taste buds. And you can also share that love with others in your life too this holiday season. I'm going to chat about a few gifts and stocking stuffers that you can use as a little add-on to your gift. The prices are a step up from your traditional candy store, the cheapest items being the $8 chocolate bars up until the $35 truffle boxes. So all these confections are pricier than your typical confections. Come on now, it's the holidays, treat your family and friends, or maybe just get a little candy bar for yourself. I can't wait to get these items. Let me know if you purchase any of these as well. You need a little sugar height? Let's get to it. Let's start off with the chocolate bars. I have four here. Firstly, I love the designs of the chocolates. They have this ribbon. Excuse my grody manicure, I didn't get a chance to fix it. Just ignore it. I just love how understated the design of even the chocolate bars are. Lolly and Pops really pays attention to even the little detail. And they're inexpensive edibles, and they usually stick to this pastel color scheme. The chocolate bars are no exception. There's this simplistic golden border, but I think the ribbon with the name of the chocolates really add a touch of classic charm to the chocolate bars, which sounds a little bit far-fetched and odd for describing chocolate bar designs. I just really feel like you are treating others when you give them something as beautifully designed as these chocolate bars. So we have four flavors. Let's start off with the toffee and sea salt. For someone that wants a salty crunch in their chocolate, this would be a great pick. It's 33%, so it's more on the milk chocolate side. And this mint with the gold trimming, ah, oh, so pretty. There's a description of the chocolates near the bottom and I love the image behind the description. The image is kind of a depiction of the taste of the chocolate or what the reference of the chocolate is. And this one is the steering wheel on a ship. Because this chocolate bar has sea salt in it, it's kind of harking back to sea salt from the sea. And the steering wheel is also in a mint green color, mirroring the mint green color of the ribbon background. This is probably a good gift for a teenager, an adult with a little bit more sophisticated palette because this is more of a grown up flavor, probably good for an adult chocolate lover. Second, we have something a little bit more spicy. Uh, and this one is the cinnamon churro. The ribbon background itself is in this pink red and there's a description. This one is probably going to taste very similar to a spice cider maybe or mulled wine. I love that the red cinnamon sticks echo probably the spicy nature of this chocolate bar. I'm also a huge fan of churros. Comment below and let me know if you're with me on this. I love to eat the churros at Costco. I know they're super cheap, but I think that cinnamon and sugar mix is just ugh. Sometimes it is just so necessary to make life better. This is most likely for someone that wants a little bit more kick in their chocolate. And then we have dark espresso for the coffee and the chocolate lover. And this one has a very fitting coffee cup image behind the description of the chocolate. And all the chocolates actually have a number. So for example, this says delectable chocolate number 12. So this is the 12th kind of chocolate bar they have in this chocolate bar line which I think is a really cool touch. And I don't know, I guess if you collect these chocolate bars, it, it's nice to track them and see which ones you get, which ones you're missing, and try to complete your chocolate collection if you don't eat them all first. Of all the chocolate bars, this one has the highest cacao content, so it's on the dark chocolate side. Dark chocolate is my favorite, so when I saw this dark espresso, I was like, yes, I have to try it. And my husband loves chocolate, so this is something that we can munch on together. We'd love to receive this kind of gift that we can munch on together. The last one is popping candy. I think this bar will be perfect for kids because it's so fun. It's kind of reminiscent of the time, at least when I was a kid, when I used to try the popping candy and they would kind of 
explode in your mouth. Imagine that in chocolate form, and that's what we have here. This is something that you can have fun with, even eating with the kids in your family during the Christmas or the New Year's party. And we have the bright and cheery packaging, the yellow and the golden border. In terms of design and cost effectiveness, any of these chocolate bars or all of these chocolate bars would be an awesome choice. Next up, I have two heavy hitters. These gigantic chocolate truffle boxes at $35 a pop. There are nine truffles in each box, pricing each at $3.90. So yes, each individual truffle is a little fancy treat. You're not going to be buying yourself individual truffles at that price point every day, so it is a little Christmas or holiday treat. So the holiday truffles fun. I love the color scheme they chose, the red and the gold. We got the ribbons in full force, but the little added holly flourishes on the side really make this festive. It even says here, a festive assortment of holiday flavored truffles. So what's really cool is that this is pretty much ready to be gifted because on the top it says, tis the season to be sweet. You can actually put the name of the person you're gifting this to and then from yourself. So that's nice and ready, you don't have to include or stick an extra card or tag on there. So if you've ever wondered what the chocolate form of eggnog, apple cobbler, hot buttered rum, and pecan pie would be, the transformation is here. So this is really for someone that loves the drinks, fruits, and spices of the holiday season. I would probably be popping in a truffle every time I took a sip from my hot chocolate if I got this box. The other box of truffles I purchased was an ice cream truffle shop mix. All the flavors of the truffles in this box are from your traditional ice creamery. In the back we have banana split, cookies and cream, butter pecan, pistachio. Personally I'd really love to try cookie dough because yes I am one of those people that like to try raw cookie dough before I bake cookies. Cookies and cream because I love white and regular chocolate mixed together. And the cake batter just looks like a whole party in a truffle. I think this would be a really fun truffle set to give to a family with little kids because I think they would enjoy these classic ice cream flavors. I am loving this huge curly font. It just really makes me think, ooh, what are all the fun things in this box? What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Comment below and let me know. Personally, I love pretty much any ice cream that has chocolate in it or is the majority chocolate. Ooh, but I've also been into ice cream that have more floral or herby flavors. I know that sounds kind of funky in ice cream, but lavender and Earl Grey are also some of my favorite flavors right now. Next up, I have a pair of sweet popcorn barrels. So admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of sweet popcorn. I know, I know, kind of weird. These are kind of like the best types of snacks. But these are really amazing gifts to give families because they're easy to share. Your families can just snack on the couch. And these are the best bang for your buck. They're only $12 a pop. I'm going to start off with the bourbon caramel popcorn. So you'll see that little bits of popcorn will have chocolate shavings on them. They're probably in a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate because the chocolate is of a darker color. This is probably best for a family without children because this is a boozy barrel of popcorn. This would be very convenient to munch on watching a football or a soccer game, or not a sports game if you're not a huge sports person. Whatever you're doing, watching TV on the couch, this would be great to get an easy munch. I was also reminded, reading the top, it says purveyors of sweetness. That's actually Lolly and Pop's tagline, the grand antique candy shop's tagline, the purveyors. Doesn't that sound like that would be used in an 1800s ad? Purveyors of sweetness. <laughs> Secondly, I have the maple pecan caramel corn. And so for anyone that likes white chocolate, and I feel like people are either white chocolate or not white chocolate people. So it's a good idea to probably check if the person or family you're giving this to actually like white chocolate. But I'm seeing little tiny crushed pecans also attached to each of the popcorn bits. So this would be perfect for anyone that likes a nutty, crunchy texture to their popcorn. Besides the crunch that you already get from popcorn usually, if you just can't get enough of sweet because white chocolate's already so sweet, there's caramel all over the popcorn to get that extra boost of sugariness with every bite. Probably don't give this to anyone that needs to watch their sugar. I honestly think you'll probably just get full on diabetes eating this whole thing, especially by yourself. With all the sweets and fat and all the traditional holiday foods, I'm surprised we're not all just like rotund balloons by the end of the year. <laughs> We've come to the end. I hope that this was helpful in giving you ideas for gifts, 
for families, individuals, or stocking stuffers because I had a range of different items to show you in this video. How's your holiday shopping going? I hope it's going well and it's not stressful. I hope that you're enjoying that and all your family festivities and activities. I appreciate all the support so much and a huge shout out to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for being interested enough to continue to want to look out for my content to see if any relevant style travel or food videos come up for you. I'm probably going to do at least one or two more gift guide type videos. I'm just getting an idea this year of what I want to do and hopefully next year by the end of the year I'll have a good plan of what type of holiday videos to do. Like giving doesn't have to be boring or stale, it can also be stylish and fun. Whatever time you're watching this, I am hoping that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!